Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can draw this piece in AutoCAD 2021. First of all, we will put this image into our workspace to be our work much faster and easier. After that, we will start with this line. So we will have one line of 125 units. So before every single drawing, as you know, we must apply the units command to be sure we are drawing in the good units. You know from the previous episodes that I will select here the decimal precision it doesn't matter so much so i will let it with just with three decimals then international instead of american insertion scale units i will let it in centimeters after that decimal degrees and precision zero or i can use one decimal it doesn't matter i will press ok after that so right now let's apply the line command so a line of 125 units be sure you have the ortho command active here it's very important right now we need two circles so one circle with the diameter of 36 and the other one with the diameter of 60 units so for this we will apply the circle command starting from this end point and we will write d from diameter 36 units if you don't know where it is this end point in my case we will apply the d settings command and it will appear a window full of options. In our case, the endpoint must be checked. So let's get back now. I will press OK and let's continue with the second circle. So a circle with the diameter of 60 units. For this one, we will write circle from the same endpoint, D from diameter and write 60 units. After that, we need here a bigger circle, as you see. So this circle have a radius of 65 units. So let's begin with this one. So circle again from the same endpoint and write just 65. Good. Right now here we will need another circle as you see because we have four circles, each of those of a diameter of 12 units. So this one and this three ones. Okay, let's apply the circle command again from this point and we will write D from diameter and 12. After that, we need to focus on the other circles. So we don't know exactly where they are, but we know that the angle between this line and the other line is of 30 degrees. So we will try to build first of all this line. Let's deactivate the ortho command to be our work much clearer. So well, let's apply the line command right now, starting from this point, and let's build, for example, a line of 100 units, and then press tab. You see now 100 is locked, and we need here an angle of 60, because here we have 90, here we have zero, so we will write just 60 degrees. To be even more sure about it, let's measure it. So let's apply the measure geom command and now press angle select this line and the other line and here you see you have an angle of 30 units it is correct so let's copy this one so copy command and place it right here now we'll construct another circle as you see with the radius of 12 instead of a diameter of 12 so again circle command and just press 12. Now you can delete this circle and this line. And let's apply the mirror command. Select both circles, press enter. And now let's select the mirroring line, which this one it will be. Array source object, no. And here they are. Right now we need here two radiuses of 12 units. So we will apply the fillet, air from radius and 12. Select this circle and this circle. Good, the same thing we will do it in the other direction. So fillet air and 12. Good, and now let's focus on the other side. So here we have the same circle. So a circle with a diameter of 12 and a circle with a radius of 12. So basically just copy them, select them, copy them, find the center and put them exactly in this endpoint. And right now we see that we have here another radius of 54 units. So we will apply the same command. So fillet air from radius, but instead of 12, we'll write 54 units. Select the exterior parts of the circle. Again, fillet air from radius 54. Good. Now we can delete this part and select the entire drawing right now and apply the trim command and delete those parts. And here it is. Our drawing now it's complete. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions, don't hesitate to let them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next.